and you guys started out pretty good that year, 16, 7, and 4. And then Pierre Lacroix turns on, gets Patrick Waugh. Did, did the team almost think it was a joke that you guys were able to get Patrick Waugh out of the blue like that? Yeah, there was obviously know that story too. We didn't we didn't have a clue until he got really mad. And and uh, <laughs> but we talked to some, some, if I talked to my teammates, yeah, then, you know, I think Pierre had had Patrick as a client before. So we kind of knew maybe it's a little chance they're ever going to get him but, and end up getting Patrick and, and and also Mike Keen, I think he meant a lot for us too when he came over. He was a, a pretty demanding guy and played hard on the ice and was kind of a good leader too. So I think, uh, yeah, it was really good trade for us. For us, uh, uh, If you looked at the, the team before um, that got knocked out against the Rangers, uh, we added some leadership and, and, and with Claude Lemieux there, we went for Brendan Clark and then, then we added Patrick and Keener. So I think maybe uh, I would say Lacra knew kind of what we won, what we needed to to go all the way. Now, was the team already thinking cup before you got Wire, or did that really solidify it after you got him? It took another step when he, when you add these guys, you know, they uh, uh, <laughs> bring another element to winning, I would say. I, they don't, I don't know what to say, put any fingers in between there. I mean, they, they do everything to win. And, and uh, so they, they definitely added some attitude and and atmosphere in the in the dressing room and and that we could go all the way I and mean, they had won before and then they knew what it takes uh, what it took and then uh, i think they really helped our younger group uh, know what it takes to win yeah had you ever seen a goalie with that much intensity before and there's also stories of like him him like helping and teaching guys yeah. where structure wise where to be in d zone and and that was eventually what ended up like elevating <laughs> you guys to that level yeah it's uh <laughs> Yeah, hey, you think it's just the guy who just stands behind in the net there and just saved the puck, but he had a lot different uh, view of uh, of everything. You know, he he makes sure. I don't know if I told the story, but you know, one year in the playoffs, you know, we we got knocked out. I think ninety nine against um, Dallas, and the next year I was gonna, you know, because I was running out of gas, and when we played the last couple of games, I was um, had to have an IV because I was uh, you know fainting after one game and just running out of. It was hard to play in Dallas. So I was going to take it easy against San Jose. We won the first two games. And I thought, okay, I'm going to take it easy to save some energy. And then we lost the next two games. And I remember Hartley coming in the dressing room like, and asking like, hey, hey guys, why are we losing? And Patrick just stood up and he just pointed at me like, that's his fault. Like that, <laughs> he's not even trying. And I didn't even think it would, you know, it would, you know, anybody can tell, but he had full control. I think he saw everything and I had to stand up, you know, I apologize that I, you know, I, last year I was, you know, game six and seven, I was out of gas. So I was going to save it for the semifinals. And he's like, there's no saving at all. And I, okay, I get it. Let's play hard the next game. And then wow. uh, we actually won four, two. So I had a goal and two assists the next game. So I, but he could, he could tell who's playing hard and not hard and, and how people were playing on the ice and how, so, Definitely, he, he added that too. That um, that the players on the ice had to you had to do your best every single game. Eh? So either, that guy's going to be all over you. It's not only saving pucks; he's got to get control of the team too. Were you I, waiting I thought, for him to I, let in a softy and and be like, "Hey, wake the fuck up back there, buddy"? <laughs> oh yeah, no, you try that. <laughs> I'm not going to try that. <laughs> That's how that's just, how tapped this guy is. Yeah, yeah no, no, I'd be very careful to say that. <laughs> Sorry, Whit. No, I, I was gonna say I thought he would just threaten to kill people for tr maybe looking at his helmet, but I didn't know he'd call out Hall of Famers too to wake the fuck up. So I guess yeah. he did do it all. <laughs>